So it's a difficult position to be in. Never nice when you when you lose. Um, but we've taken the you know the bits and pieces out of it that we need to improve on. We've looked uh, in detail at that, and hopefully, and I know for a fact, we'll be better this weekend. Our lineout has been you know very good over the last while. Um, in many ways. You know, it's just back to basics. Just, just um, the, I know the boys have shown a light on it. There's been a lot of honesty and 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 discussions around that, and they've worked hard in the last few days to to put together uh, those pieces and put those pieces to right. And you know, I, I'd be expecting a, a, a much better um, set piece at the weekend. These guys have been in two finals over the last two years, uh, winning one of them and coming very close to winning the other. You know, we've come up against them a lot. We've analysed them a lot. They're incredibly talented. As individuals, they are scary fast. They have unbelievable passing ability in terms of moving at speed. So they present um, difficulties around defending fractured play. Um, then you look at their power game, their scrum, their maul, their ability to pound you through big, big forward carries. They present so many challenges. And I... It's always a great challenge analysing them and it's always you know, a big ask to go out and defend against them especially. But also the line speed they bring in defence against your attack. It takes you know, an awful lot of calmness, good shape you know, and being brave to try and break them down. So they present um, a brilliant challenge and a brilliant, uh, I suppose, competitor to have to go up against. It was brilliant, brilliant experience. Uh, from the family point of view as well, you know, um, my wife and kids going down, they loved it. And uh, obviously the rugby, it was quite busy. Like I was down there, I think it was 18 weeks and we had 17 games. So there wasn't a whole pile of downtime. So it was a lot of, a lot of rugby and um, obviously we came quite close in the end and just fell at the last hurdle. There is a big change. There's a lot of belief in the squad and the younger lads as well um, coming through, you know. They're coming through younger and younger every year, so I'm playing with lads who are 18 now, and I'm, sure I'm, t- I'm nearly twice their age, and um, they're very competent, and uh, there's a lot of competition in the, in the squad, which is really good, and that probably, it was there last year, but I probably came back uh, after the Wasps um, at winter demonstration, where the squad as a whole was probably at a low, and then maybe a bit of momentum was gathered when uh, all the internationals came back so things built from then on you know it wasn't just the period when I was away or like it was it was definitely coming you could tell it was building um, nicely and uh, yeah it's it's still uh, it's still there and people are still fairly confident that we're a good side despite our performance last weekend it was playing as day watching it back you know it's you're not going to win a game without a breakdown and we, they really uh, went after a breakdown and we just didn't um yeah, we, we weren't good enough um, uh, physically in that in that area. So, and obviously some line out stuff wasn't great, and um, we, we we looked at a lot of that, and we're looking to fix that. And obviously they're they're easy fixes. It's kind of I hate to say a mindset thing, but like we just got to get lower and get more physical in there, and get more more aggressive. So that was uh, a big takeaway. He's a very good player. Uh, he, people have seen that already, but he um, he's born attack and defence, and he's got a like. He's a young, well, he's relatively young uh, in that uh, Chiefs team, and he stepped up as the defensive leader, like in the group. So it was like when you're in a team of like, you know, Anton Leonard Brown and Dan McKenzie and all them, and you're be you're a defensive leader. That's that says something about a player. So yeah, he's well able in defence and takes a lot of pride in that. And uh, yeah, he's equal equally capable in attack. I was lucky enough to be able to watch that uh, game, the final in Canberra after I think it was our second last league game it was 3 o'clock in the morning so and myself and Alex and watched it and it was only a feeling of pride there was no kind of like oh typical really it was it was more regret of not being able to celebrate the lads was the only one I had I suppose but uh, yeah there was an element a small element of it but no mainly pride I feel like I was a part of the team I played few league games last year so I I should I, I think I'm probably gonna get a medal at some stage.